World Youth Day took place in early August in Portugal, and our young diocesan pilgrims who traveled there are staying in touch still after having encountered Jesus with millions from around the world. They recently had a reunion. Carolee McGrath documents some of those special moments of the pilgrimage, which will serve as momentum for future evangelization efforts. It's not every day that you see thousands, actually millions of young people loud and proud about their Catholic faith. And yet this is a glimpse of the absolute joy of World Youth Day. This is my first World Youth Day. I'm very excited. I'm eager, ready. Rob Carmichael, a parishioner at St. Michael's Cathedral Parish in Springfield, was one of 17 young adults from the diocese who traveled to Portugal in early August for World Youth Day. World Youth Day is a pilgrimage for young people ages 15 to 35 years old. It's held every four years and more than 200 countries were represented. Pope Francis joined the young people and celebrated the closing mass. The whole weather in Portugal is between 90 and 100 degrees every day, which believe it or not is my kind of weather. I got really tanned, but aside from that, uh, we had a really beautiful experience and all in all, we really, I personally really felt as though God was with us the whole time. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Father David Afero, pastor of Holy Family Parish in South Deerfield, accompanied the local group. As a mother of young adult children, to see all of those young adults there loving the Lord, gives me hope. What do you think? I think it actually gives me hope as well. When you have 1.5 million people at World Youth Day, uh, there was a lot of uh, moments we had a lot of spontaneous joy. Like for example, as, um, as a priest, I was willing to go back to my hotel room after an event, but then there was a whole group of people dancing and clapping in the street and playing music, and I just couldn't help to be a part of that. And so that, that joy is very contagious, and they were really spreading sort of the joy of the gospel. The local contingent began their pilgrimage in Fatima, where the Blessed Mother appeared to three shepherd children from May to October of 1917. The Blessed Mother told the children to pray the rosary daily for peace and to offer up their suffering for the conversion of souls. And it was incredible to see like so many people my age from anywhere on the world that um, were willing to like pray the rosary at any point in time. 24-year-old Rebecca Navarez from Blessed Sacrament Parish in Springfield is a graduate of Franciscan University. When he died on the cross for us, it was he had every single person in mind. And so even those that may feel that, um, you know, he wasn't thinking of them, he really was. He carried all of their, all of their sin, all of their burdens on, on his back when he was crucified. Many in the group met recently for a reunion back home at Immaculate Conception Parish in Indian Orchard. Father David celebrated Mass and then the group shared a meal and some of their experiences. 19-year-old Amelia Schwing is a youth group leader at Immaculate Conception and a nursing student at Elms College in Chicopee. I absolutely loved it. It was a great experience, definitely very eye-opening, very, I like to say that we had a lot of time to do adoration. It was very just calming and at peace and definitely connected with God. World Youth Day is just one of the many opportunities available for our young people to grow closer to Christ. Under the direction of Joe Austin, both young adult ministry and youth ministry have taken off in our diocese with both young adults and teens realizing that Jesus has way more to offer than the secular world. Everyone who goes on World Youth Day has an incredible experience of the whole church and they come back just on fire and ready to you know, do a lot and give themselves to the church. And so I think a number of the people who went on the trip may be future young Catholic leaders and involved in young Catholic and, uh, and young Catholic is really growing. We're you know, working on some new initiatives right now that will be amazing as well. The young Catholic equivalent for the youth, we have now have a diocesan youth leadership team. <laughs> The Diocesan Youth Leadership Team recently held a swing dance for youth. Like Young and Catholic, the group has many activities planned for the fall. And they are on fire. They are so on fire and um, I just can't keep up with what the Holy Spirit is doing with, with everything. Follow both groups on Instagram, Young and Catholic for the Young Adults or Catholic Youth Revival for the Teens. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. And the next World Youth Day is scheduled to take place in Seoul, South Korea in 2027.